Hey everyone and welcome back to Fresh Fit and Healthy YouTube. So uh, if you've been following me at all on Snapchat, Sarah underscore Grace 11, um, a lot of times I'll do a snap of my daily devotional in the morning, of me journaling about it, things like that. And a lot of people ask what book I use, like what devotional I use, what where the journal's from, how I do it, how I journal. So So every morning I love to start out with my quiet time like I like to call it or devotions, whatever, everyone has their own name for it. But basically it's my time in the morning to start out the day relaxed, get any worries out that I have, and get my mind focused on what's truly important. So this is the book I use. I use Jesus Calling and it's a daily devotional. So basically it goes day by day and it has a little synopsis of something to read and then it has three verses that go along with it. If you buy the newer Jesus Calling, it actually has the verses written right below it. I have to look them up in my Bible because this is the older version, but I got my roommate hooked on it. She loves it now too. So that is that and basically what I do is I read my Jesus Calling first. I always turn on worship music too because I love to have like background music when I do this or else my brain just wonders. I almost need white noise or else I just like think and I'll, I don't know. My mind is just not able to harness in very easily. So I read my Jesus Calling. I look up the verses that they have and I kind of don't just read the one verse that is right here. I read the entire chapter that the verse is in just to kind of like see where, like what it's talking about, what's before and after it. So I look up the verses in my Bible and then I basically journal about it. So honestly, you can get journals anywhere from a bookstore. I get mine at TJ Maxx because they're really cheap and cute like this one. This one says, every day is a gift, every moment is a blessing, every life holds a beauty of its own. So these are great little tools. But anyways, I mean, okay, so Here's like a disclaimer. There's no right way to journal or have a quiet time. Like you have to do what you like, what fits your style, everything. Some people are really artsy and can like be really creative and like love to like draw really pretty words. That's not me, I'm not artistic. But <laughs> anyways, here's like a sample day of like what I did today. This is the blog, this is all included in my blog post as well, freshfinhealthy.com. It will be linked below. Um, but basically I start off with the date. And then, so lately I've been realizing that I just need to start out thanking God for anything and everything because starting out with Thanksgiving really just helps put me in the right mindset and heart. Um, and a lot of times I come and like just have tons of worries on my mind, so it's really good to just start out thanking him for everything. So, so basically I write thankful for, and then I write what I'm thankful for. Then I write pouring out, and I write what I'm pouring out. Bas basically what that means is, these are the things that are on my heart and mind right now that are distracting me from truly listening and truly reading your word and getting out of it what you want me to. So I kind of just like pour out whatever is worrying me, whatever is stressing me out, whatever I have like that I'm thinking about that I need to do that day, anything like that. Um, just to, like get it off my chest, get it on paper, and that way I'm not thinking about it the entire time. Then basically that's when like I read the Jesus Calling after those two steps. And then I jot down a synopsis of the Jesus Calling. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, it just depends. Like if I have, if like the Jesus Calling is really relatable and I really want to remember like what it said because it's a great lesson or it really applies to my life, then I write down a lot of it, which I did today. Um, sometimes I don't write it down. Um, it just kind of depends. Like I said, it's whatever you want. And then after reading the Jesus Calling, I say thoughts and I write down all my thoughts about the Jesus Calling, like what it said, how it relates to my life, what I can learn from it, what I need to work on, things like that. And then at the very bottom, I write prayer and I write down 
what my prayer is about that, about anything. Sometimes it's long. Sometimes I just keep the, sh the prayer that I write down shorter and just relatable to what I learned this specific day. But then I go lengthier like in my mind when I pray just about every and anything that's on my heart that's in my life at the time. So basically, that is how I journal. That is how I do my quiet time. This is how I start every single morning. I mean, unless I have something crazy in the morning, then I like come home and do it later on. But I'm telling you guys, even when I'm so, so busy, if I make time for this, it makes my day so much less stressful. It makes me more productive. It just helps me concentrate. And it just helps me feel better all around. So that is that. Whether you do this or whether you have some kind of meditation, some kind of quiet time in the morning, I highly suggest it because it's so beneficial for anyone's life to start your morning relaxed. Because if you start off your morning running around crazy like a chicken with its head cut off, that just sets up your whole day for disaster and stress. So this is awesome. This is a great way that I chose to de-stress in the morning. Um, but yeah, so if you want the synopsis of everything I just said, if you want like a bulleted form of like what I just said or anything like that, head on over to my blog post. I include screenshots of everything. I include different ways I journal. Like this is today, but like say the past two days when I was home, I literally just wrote out the Bible verses that came with the Jesus Calling and then I wrote down like my prayer about them, about life. And then some days I just have so much on my mind that I literally just journal about my life. Like this is just like life. <laughs> I put life. <laughs> um, so honestly, every day is different. Every day is a little different, but I try to incorporate some of the Bible verses or some of the Jesus calling into my journaling and then a prayer, what I'm thankful for, what I'm worried about and trying to pour out. Um, yeah, so that's that. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Head on over to the blog post if you want. Click the thumbs up if you like this. Subscribe if you aren't already. And until next time, thank you all for your support and love and encouragement. Bye, guys. If you want a bulleted, bulleted, yeah. Because if you start out running around crazy with like, like, if you. St